Today we are building this small 2.1 channel amplifier. I am starting this build by gluing a thin 1mm thick sheet of brushed aluminium to 3mm MDF with contact adhesive. The adhesive is applied to both surfaces, left for 10 minutes and then stuck together. The amplifier enclosure is designed around an Arillic 2.1 channel wireless amplifier module and you can also watch my previous video where I included it in a wireless speaker build. See the card top right for the link in the video. The idea is to use this amplifier in my office desk setup with a pair of small bookshelf speakers that I will feature in a future build video um, and then later add a small subwoofer. These bookshelf speakers are truly amazing for its size and if you want to see this upcoming project then make sure to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss it. Another feature of the amplifier is the ability to tweak the frequency response with digital signal processing. Arillic provides software called ACP Workbench and this will allow me to get the best possible near field response in my office desk setup. Of course you do not have to rely on the DSP since the amplifier has crossover bass and treble controls via the three knobs on the front of the module. Arillic also has a number of other small modules that can be attached to this amplifier module to provide optical and coaxial inputs and outputs. So I will also include this digital input board in this amp. This is great for connecting to your TV via optical cable. However, in my office desk setup, I will just connect the amp via USB cable where the computer will pick it up as a sound card. Uh, the USB input will of course also allow you to connect an external DAC. Then of course you can also stream to the amp via Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. So you can see this is really a very versatile amplifier. The top, bottom and sides of the enclosure is made from solid Kiart wood and mitered to make up a small box. Slots are cut towards the front and back on all pieces for the front and back panels to slot in. The aluminium and MDF that was glued together will make the front and back panels of the enclosure. Here I'm just rubbing it to width. I lay out the top, bottom and side panels in order to use masking tape to secure them together. I can then slot in the front and back panels to see if everything fits well together. The holes for the volume, bass and treble controls are marked out on the front panel as well as a hole for the remote infrared receiver. I can then take it over to the drill press and drill all the holes. A small piece of expanded aluminium mesh is used to cover the hole for the infrared receiver. This is easily cut with a pair of scissors and secured with CA glue.
A larger 50mm diameter hole is drilled in the top panel. This hole allows heat from the amp to escape and is also covered with the expanded aluminium mesh. I mark off the cuts to be made on the back panel to allow access to all the sockets on the back of the amp and then use a jigsaw to neatly cut it out. A file can be used to clean it up and to refine. But first I'm drilling a few holes for the sockets on the digital expansion board. Unfortunately, for some unknown reason to me, I did not film the cutouts with a jigsaw, but here you can see the end result. The amp module will be mounted on the bottom panel with PCB standoffs and a few small screws. The same is then also done for the expansion board. The Wi-Fi antenna is then stuck to the inside of one of the side panels. The expansion board comes with a few terminated uh, cables that I can use to connect it to the amplifier module. Getting towards the end of this build, we can finally glue the box together. Now you might notice that I have not allowed for any access to the amplifier board after the glue up is done. Uh, but this is how I designed this to be very simple to put together. If you want to build something similar, then making the necessary adjustments to the design to make it serviceable is all up to you. Generally, these modules are very robust and should require very little service, if any at all. And by the time it might give in, if at all, I will most likely have something else on my desk already to test out. The 
finishing his furniture oil just a few coats allowing it to dry in between uh, i then stick a few rubber feet to the bottom and we are almost done Lastly, these are actually guitar knobs that I found on banggood.com. So if you like them, go check out the link in the description below. Uh, to make them fit, I just drilled out the plastic insert with a 6mm drill bit. And then it fits nice and tight over the amp potentiometer. I really like the way this came out and the sound from this amplifier is very good. It's definitely more than good enough for my office desk setup and paired with the right speakers you can expect hi-fi quality sound. And together with features such as the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth streaming, DSP tweaking and the optical input, I can highly recommend this amp module with expansion board. So I encourage you to build your own amp like this and make it your own. You will have fun doing it and will not be disappointed with the performance. Like I said before, I will be doing an upcoming project soon of the small two-way bookshelf speakers and they truly are dynamite for the price to performance ratio. So subscribe, ring the notification bell and give this video a thumbs up. Uh, you can also support me on Patreon or become a YouTube member of my channel by clicking the join button below this video. I provide lots of behind the scene content, downloadable files and build plan discount codes. So thanks to those already supporting me and until next time, adios.